Hey everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel, Short Rest Manga. And today I'm behind the camera because I have my February manga haul to show you guys. As you guys can see in front of me, I have one large package on the bottom from Right Stuff and two smaller packages from Right Stuff. I also have a mishmash of some manga on top that I got from Amazon over the month and some I picked up locally and so I'll show you guys that. It's a beautiful winter morning here in Massachusetts. The birds are chirping, the snow plows are plowing, and I have some coffee. It's early in the morning and we're just gonna have a nice slow start to the day by opening some manga. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first manga I want to show you is from Amazon. I'm gonna start with the stuff that's already unboxed and unopened. And what I got from Amazon was the first volume of Juju Kaisen. I was so pumped to see that it was back in stock. It's kind of hard to find a lot of these volumes because it's very, very popular and for good reason. It's really, really good. <laughs> I was going to wait because I was able to order some of the other manga in the series, uh, but I read it and it's it's really good. It, it does live up to the hype that everyone says. I would check it out. Definitely. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay. I would just forewarn that a lot of people are trying to get a lot of money. They're trying to sell because it's just out of print so often because it's so popular It for really crazy prices so please just wait and not spend um, way more for these volumes when they're worth there will be more so the other volumes i got off of amazon i believe yes we're um tomo chan is a girl i got volumes six seven and eight i did complete the series with these volumes and let me tell you this was a fantastic series it was super funny and a lot of beautiful character development in a panel manga, which I didn't really expect. Um, I really did care about, I think, all of the characters. I don't think there was one where I <laughs> got tired of them. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend checking out this series. Of course, yeah, I've already read this. As you guys know, I tore through this series and I'm very happy I was able to get my hands on it. So these next few volumes I picked up at my local bookstore recently. I wanted to see if I could find them because some of them I couldn't find online and one just happened to be a new release when I was there. Um, one thing I couldn't find online at the moment is Yona of the Dawn. I've heard so many <laughs> manga tubers talk about this series and I think it just came out with its 28th volume. So before I fall too far behind, I wanted to just pick up volume one because I know Volume ones can be some of the hardest volumes to find, even though it's like not out of print or anything. Um, but so now I have it. So whenever in the future I'm ready to start it and get more of it, um, I can give it a read. So really happy to have picked this up. So one thing I didn't expect to pick up when I was there, but I did because it just had come out, was Short Cake Cake Volume 11. Very happy to have gotten this because actually in this haul I have up I ordered volumes up to 11 that I didn't have I think like 8 through 10 so now that I have this there's only one more volume until the series is complete at 12 so yeah very cute series very like shoujo love triangle square uh yeah it's pretty cute artwork's really nice it's volume 11 so I'm not going to open it <laughs> since I haven't read some of the volumes up to it so no spoilers here and the last manga I picked up at the store was Blue Flag Volume 3. Very, very, very into this series. Like, I'm sure a lot of you are. If you, if you haven't read it and are into shoujos, or not even into shoujos, um, I think this, how I describe this series, is a modern day take on <laughs> the shoujo uh, manga. Uh, it's great. Uh, it's just so hyped, and I have only good things to say about it. So, definitely going to be picking up the rest of the series. Okay, well now that I've showed you guys what's already opened, let me grab a package. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the right stuff packages. I'm actually going to start with the biggest box first because I think that'll make more sense because I think I got this one first in the mail and the others kind of add on to this one. So we're going to open this one first. My handy dandy <laughs> box cutter.
oh wow interesting way to package it but hey if it works it works okay so oh this is upside down strength okay so I'm gonna push this box to the side you guys can kind of see what I got but I'm gonna go through it one through ooh, one by one just to show you guys a little bit up close so the next thing I got was sweat and soap volume 5 I got the one through four bundle for the holiday sale at Right Stuff. Oh, Winry is in the paper. Hold on. Okay, so like I was saying, <laughs> uh, I got the first four volumes through the Right Stuff holiday sale in December, and I've, I think I'm on volume three of Sweat and Soap, and I'm really enjoying it. So I got the most recent volume, volume five, and I just, yeah, really enjoy. I think this is called. Was this considered Jose? I'm really not a technical <laughs> manga person. Um, but they are in their mid to late 20s, and as I am, so like that's really nice to relate to versus reading all the time like high school <laughs> love stories, which are still good, but uh, it's nice to be able to re relate to something a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't checked this out either, yeah, this is a great one. Okay, <laughs> so this is no surprise after what I kind of just said, I did get volumes four and five of Blue Flag. God, the art, I mean, I can't gush about this enough. Uh, it's really great. So <laughs> I'm obviously continuing it and I think volume six just came out recently. So maybe next month I'll try to pick that up because I am definitely done with my <laughs> manga buying for February. And volume five, just beautiful covers. Then I also, another series I'm continuing is Rent a Girlfriend. Another, like, it's just like <laughs> the time of beautiful covers. It's great art, very funny series. Yeah. Um, actually, I think this box is pretty much all continuing series. Uh, the next thing I picked up is Dead Man Wonderland 3, 5, and 4. Uh, <laughs> my plan was to be able to find two because I thought my local bookstore still had volume two in stock. They didn't, so looks like I'm going to be waiting for more printings, but Dead Man Wonderland, I've talked about it before, it's very, very good. Much more of the action-y, a little more gory. Uh, didn't plan this out well, did I? Yeah, so I'm hoping to pick up the rest of this as it comes back into print. Because I think there's 13 volumes in total. So, definitely hoping to finish this before the end of the year. Well, let me resituate this. Okay, a few more things in the box. I did continue as well. Rosario plus Vampire, nine and 10. So this is a series I talked about in my What I Want to Collect this year. This is a series I started collecting a long time ago and just want to like finish it. I think there's like 24 volumes. I stopped at like volume seven or eight. So I want to get to the halfway point, which I believe is volume 10 because then it turns into um, like Rosario plus Vampire season two, but like it says season two like in the manga. So I'm gonna see if I finish part one to see if I wanna keep collecting it. Uh, and if not, I'll probably sell it. Okay, so last thing in the box and ah, that is the first, wow, this is much bigger than I <laughs> thought it would be. I've seen it in stores. So this is Ping Pong volume one. Uh, there's two omnibuses that complete the manga. Uh, I'm not sure how long the anime is. I think it's maybe 12 episodes. I think it's shorter. Um, but yeah, the art is super cool. So 
So this is a manga I've definitely seen before. I usually see it in most of the bookstores that carry manga, and even ones that don't have a large manga selection, they still I see ping pong there. I've heard Suki Notes, uh, a manga tuber, talk about this before and really, really like it. I've heard Prom G. I think I saw like him post on Instagram that ping pong's one of his favorite mangas like of all time. So with a lot of praise, I just you know saw it on sale on Right Stuff and I picked it up. So. I definitely am very interested in ping pong. It's a sport that I don't usually play. Well, now because of what's going on, I don't play it <laughs> at all. But usually when I go places with friends and family and there's ping pong, we always play and it's something where I'm like, yeah, I'll play casually. And I get so competitive. <laughs> so um, I think it'd be interesting to read. The art style is, is very unique or very interesting. I like it. Definitely is, did not turn me off to it. Um, I'm interested to see some of the characters and trying to get more into sports. Manga, I started, as you guys know, I'm all caught up on Haikyuu. I love Haikyuu, so I'm trying to branch out <laughs> from that. Okay, so that's the first box. Let me grab the second. Alrighty, let's crack her open. Always cut away from yourself. Don't learn that the hard way. <laughs> Okay, so this is where it's wrapped up, so put it to the side. <laughs> okay. So what's in here is <laughs> volume one of Apothecary Diaries. So I heard about this series from uh, Shay Geeks Out. She was doing uh, like testing out like 10 different series of volume ones and this was one of the volumes and she really highly praised it. Um, the artwork looks really good. I think it's more of a historical manga. So I didn't actually know about this series until Shay uh, mentioned it in her video. So it looked really cool and she talked about it like in a very positive way. and. I think it's more of a historical manga, so I'm excited to give it a shot since I don't think I technically have anything like it in my collection, so it looked really interesting, so I'm gonna give it a go. As I had mentioned before, I got Shortcake Cake Volume 8. The spine looks a little messed up. That's okay. And Volume 9. Cake on the back always looks delicious. <laughs> and volume 10. And earlier I had gotten volume 11. So just one more volume to go. And last in the box is Rosario Plus Vampire volume 8. Yes, so now I do have 1 through 10. So I'll definitely give this a reread at some point and see if I want to keep collecting it. Very cool. Much cool. Okay. Oh, I forgot. There's still another half to this box. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's put this up to the side. I got Silver Spoon, Volume 4. I think there was another volume that I have Silver Spoon in here. Yeah. Volume 4. This is a series I also st I got actually for Christmas uh, from my brother, 1 through 3. And so I'm really enjoying it. It's about 
Hachiken going to an agricultural school, knowing nothing about agriculture, and kind of finding his way, and it's very, very good, very interesting. I love farms. <laughs> if I had mentioned before, I love farming, agriculture, uh, playing all the farming games like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, so this is definitely right up my alley. And then I got volume 5. There's 15 volumes total in the series. So I'll slowly collect this. And this might not be a surprise to anyone. I got <laughs> A Man and His Cat, volume 2. I gushed so much about this, and it's just so cute and wholesome. And I, if you're just looking for a nice wholesome read um, with like some heavy elements as well that kind of bring the story to life a little bit more, I definitely recommend this. So this is a one shot I picked up. Uh, secret secretly, I've been suffering about being sexless. Um, I think it's about mainly a husband and wife. <laughs> um, don't really have as much intimacy as they once did and it's kind of a problem so I think it's just kind of talking about communications and relationships and it seemed interesting and kind of funny so uh, yeah let's we'll see how it goes and last thing in this box is blue period one and two so a lot of people have been talking about this series. I try not to look too much into a series because I am definitely someone who hates spoilers. Even if it's someone's like, oh, it doesn't affect like the whole story or it's just like about one character. Like I'm still like, I really hate any type of spoilers. So uh, all I really know about it is that it's about this guy who forgot something in his classroom. He's kind of a delinquent, doesn't go to clubs. And he, He's like surprisingly really smart though, but just doesn't try hard in school, I think. And he gets really into art. I think he like finds a passion for art like he already did, or it's kind of reignited. And he kind of meets people in the art club, and that's kind of how his story starts. And he's trying to get into like a really fancy art college. So it seems super interesting. And again, I don't think I have anything like it in my collection. So one and two are out and I think three and four are coming out pretty soon. So I wanted to give it a try and see if I was into it before just kind of collecting more of the series. Okay, moving on to our final box. Ah! Mass destruction. Okay, our final box. Look at that! What a cute little sticker! Thanks, right stuff. Wow, oh, that's very cute. Okie dokie. So the last things I got this month is the second volume of the Apothecary Diaries. Um, I actually got the first volume when I I had originally saw She Geeks Out uh, when she talked about it, and she really liked it. And then I think I saw another video later after I had ordered the first one with uh, Geeky Dreams. She was talking about it and she really liked it. And I think she also <laughs> had picked up volume two. And uh, so I was like, well, oh, I better get the second volume because again, I don't think I've ever read a historical manga. So I figured if it's really plot heavy and narrative heavy, I wanted to be able to give it a- <laughs> hold on. I wanted to have volume two, so if I needed more context or more world building before I could really like judge it, I wanted to be able to have volume two to give it a fair chance. And I think volume two might be the 
most recent release, so I'm not sure if there's anything more at the moment anyway. The next, <laughs> the next thing um, was mainly the whole purpose of this separate order is because I've been trying to find this series and I can't find volume one or two anywhere. Uh, it's been out of stock, it's not at my local bookstore, so I finally got the notification. Oh, I see some damage on it on um, right stuff that they got it in, so I ordered it right away. <laughs> and that is Toilet Bound Hanako kun, and I just love the art. It's very beautiful. I think it's a pretty interesting concept. The art kind of reminds me of a more gentle, like, soul eater, if that makes, like, any sense. But the series looks super funny. Um, again, the covers and art are beautiful. I don't want to... Oh! I don't want to go through too much of it now, because I don't... I'm going to spoil it for myself later, but... Yeah, the art and the character designs are really, really cute. And it looks interesting. And I think it's <laughs> about this guy who's actually a ghost. And I think it's also a love series, but it just seems so quirky and different, so I wanted to give it a try. I do see, it's weird with the pages, see that? The pages aren't like lined up. And there is corner damage, which honestly, I never see from right stuff ever. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten manga damaged. Oh wow, yeah, down here in the corner. From right stuff, so that's pretty shocking. To me, that makes me think that, I don't think, it must have been delivered this way. I don't think right stuff, like, would, like, I don't think that damage happened on its way here. I think it was kind of already like that from another delivery, so. Eh, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'll replace it one day, or I'll see if I can fix it. Yeah, but I really wanted to pick up the series to give it a try. Uh, it seems really funny, so yeah, looking forward to reading it. And the last thing I got was Fruits Baskets Omnibus Volume 2. Hmm. Can you guys see that? It's got some dirt on it, and that's pretty sad because <laughs> I really wanted these to be in really good condition, but because it's like a matte finish. The spine looks really good though. So maybe I'll try to clean it off. Ah, I'm so scared! <laughs> if anyone knows how to get it, because it's like a papery, it's not a glossy finish, so I don't want to scrub it with anything. If anyone knows what I should do, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, but this doesn't come with any surprise. If you guys saw my previous video, um, or two videos ago. I wanted to collect all fruits baskets. It's my time finally to finish it, read it, and then I'll give the anime a go. Yeah, so very excited. So there you guys go. This is all the manga that I have gotten this month that I haven't shown you. If you guys want to see the smaller manga haul that I did from my local bookstore, I'll leave a card in the top right if you want to check it out if you already haven't. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys have read any of these series or if you like them or don't like them. Yeah, let me know. I'm really curious. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.